Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and uh, Starship42.com is a website that I talked about a while back, and it was kind of a preliminary ship viewing type of site. Um, however, it's actually gone through quite a few updates and has really gotten to be a pretty impressive utility. Now, primarily the best, you know, the best usage of this site is um, to really kind of explore your fleet or to look at individual ships in a little bit more detail and a little bit more control. Um, but there are some other things that you can do on here. Um, you know, for example, this one down here called Half Vulcan is pretty cool. Um, basically, what it does is it ends up rendering out a Vulcan where you get this slider and you can end up kind of going through the ship and seeing all the different various components that are on it and get an idea of the interior layout of the ship itself. Um, you also get different places like, um, you know, the primary one here is going to be about, um, you know, just picking a ship and kind of building out a different way of looking at it. So we'll just go ahead and pick this one. Um, here, I'm going to actually refresh that because I want to do it without music. Um, and you can see it's going to populate whatever ship you put there. You can rotate it. You can kind of look around it in different angles. You can add different graphics, change the background, all of that good stuff. Um, you can end up coming in here and adding in additional ships. Like maybe you're curious about the 300 next to the um, 100. So you can end up putting them right next to each other and get an idea of the different size and scoping on all of this. Um, for me, when you start talking about larger fleets, we really get into a portion where using this fleet view option ends up becoming a little bit better. Um, you know, I'll go through and just kind of grab some of the ships that I have because, you know, obviously, you know, this will give you a pretty good idea of how this would all work. So I've got a couple of those. I've got a Hurricane and a Terrapin. Um, you know, I've got a Herald. I've got a couple of Dragonflies, a couple of Blue, a Cat, Blade Glaive max and i'll just pick one more i've got a whole c as well um, that's not my full fleet but um, over here you can end up coming in here and choosing colored um, you can also end up uh, and then you basically just hit start what it will end up doing is you can see here you've got a loading option that tells you how far along this is actually gone and then you end up getting all of the ships lined up in a very interesting visual manner and you get an idea of the size and scope of some of these ships as something as small as a dragonfly all the way up to a reclaimer um, in here you can end up rotating around getting different screenshots um, there are different layouts like you can see them all in like an arc um, this one's interesting it's the chaos view where it just kind of drops them all into a random place uh, not super useful but entertaining um, you can also get the fleet layout to where you can end up uh, you know if you want to take a screenshot of this or something you can end up um, getting a nice breakdown of what's currently in your fleet um, for me my personal favorite um, you see you can click generate image there if you want um, my personal favorite thing on here is actually going to be like the uh, crew capacity, for example. Um, so if we come in here and scroll in, you can see that, you know, you've got your, I don't know, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for the hammerhead. Um, you've got a handful there, so you get four for the uh, whole C. And basically it just kind of lays out the crew so you can see it. Um, that's somewhat useful. The cargo, I think, is what really helps in visualizing things. You know, for example, the freelancer max right here has a good number especially compared to some of these smaller ships but then you look at the caterpillar and you're like wow that's like four times more and then you look over here at the whole scene and you're like good lord that's like five times more you know so it's really interesting to see the way that some of these visualizations actually take place because it can kind of help to sell some of the craziness of these ships um, you can imagine if we tossed a whole e in here what that would actually look like um, but really the functionality here is pretty impressive it's kind of fun and there's nothing really around right now that compares to it so much uh, kudos to the uh, creator here it's like lund Foki or something like that i'm not trying to pronounce the name um has done a really good job with the site it's been really impressive so if you haven't checked it out i would highly recommend it come see what it's all about maybe make a fleet image that you can share with your buddies um or otherwise just get in and kind of explore the ships create your own custom scenes and just kind of enjoy looking around but you know like i said especially for things like comparing ships uh, and side by side manner you get to customize this however you want and that's really helpful so that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. There's a link to this website in the description of the video. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.